All right, good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to take you on through a little Minecraft world to give you some more practice on speed, uh, distance, and time problems. Um, usually I put a little webcam at the bottom right corner so you can see my face as I go along this world, but it's been a, it's causing the video to be a little laggy um, and my mic keeps cutting in and out. So um, I apologize for that, but you're just going to want to go ahead and just make sure you listen and then obviously pay attention to the best of your abilities. Okay, um, and so the one thing I want to go through before I get started is to make sure you have this assignment, okay? Everyone should have this assignment. It's going to be titled Minecraft Speed, Distance, and Time in your OneNote. This is going to be in your Unit 1 tab, okay? So this is going to be in your Unit 1 tab. Um, and so you're going to want to have that pulled up as you're going to want to keep this video also pulled up because the problems are not on the worksheet as you can see. If you scroll through the worksheet, you can see that there are no problems. The problems are going to be in this world that I'm going to walk you through today. Okay, uh, There's going to be a total of eight questions. Uh, I do throw in a little bit of fun in terms of solving a, a code for extra credit. Um, it's just a fun little extra way to incorporate some extra credit into the assignment. Uh, and so what you're going to do today is you're going to practice some speed distance um, time problems and this is going to help you review for a quiz and the test obviously uh, now what i would suggest is those of us maybe that have access to two devices i would encourage you to open up the video or this video maybe on a second device and then complete your work on your school device or your personal device uh, wherever you're completing your work if you're unable to do that, right, if you don't have a second device, that's okay. Um, just somehow position your video and your work um, to kind of be on the, uh, uh, on one screen um, to the best of your abilities, okay? Um, and so you're just going to have to try and make it work. Um, I do love playing Minecraft, and so I definitely do want to incorporate some Minecraft into the classroom, even though we're not here, okay? Um, and so hopefully a day will come where we're all back together. Uh, and then we can play a lot of Minecraft and have a ton of fun, all right? Um, and so at this point, again, you should have the assignment up as well as the um, video, okay? Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what Mr. Lindsay has to say. Uh, students, you're getting ready to embark on a journey through the jungle. In the jungle, you will find various speed, distance, and time problems. In order to pass this assignment, you will need to enter a code at the end Follow directions and don't forget your units. Good luck. Okay, and I'm going to take you on a trip around the yellow brick road. Um, over here, I've laid a set of directions out, so you can feel free to pause if you would like to review these directions and you can complete the assignment correctly. Um, but step one, uh, or direction one, is you have eight questions to answer, and so you'll see your, uh, your assignment has eight questions. Uh, step, uh, number two, each question will provide you directions on how to put together your eight-digit code that you will collect along the way. You're going to take a digit from your final answer for each problem, and you'll put it in the bold box. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to do number one together. Number three, at the end of the Golden Brick Road, you will type your eight-digit code on uh, forms, which you won't need to do, so you can go ahead and ignore that. You're just going to fill in your eight-digit code at the bottom of your assignment, okay? And I'll show you where that is. Um, take your time. Make sure you show all of your work and then uh, include your units in your final answer, okay? Um, and so, again, if you need to pause this to go over it, feel free to do that. If not, we're going to go ahead and get started on number one, all right? Um, and so remember to always follow the golden brick road. So we're going to keep following it around until we get here. Okay. Um, and so you're going to see here is the problem. Question number one, a train needs to travel 145 meters in two hours. What speed does this train need to travel to make it on time? Okay. So there's our question. And then over here, right, you have me again and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little hint on how to find your final answer okay um, but for now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pull up my one note right so we have a train that needs to travel 145 and so your one note should look like this right Okay, so your one note should look like this. Okay, so question number one. Okay, a train needs to travel 145. So you'll kind of see how I have my computer set up. Feel free to do that. Ooh. 
Oops. Let me get my units. So it is 145 meters. Okay. So step one, what are we solving for? Well, what we're solving for, as you can see, is we're going to be solving for S equals D divided by T, right? It asks, what is what speed does the train need to travel? Step two is I'm going to plug in my units, S equals, D equals, and T equals. 145 meters, that tells me that that's my distance, so 145 meters. And then I have a time of two hours, and I'm solving for my speed. Okay. So I go ahead and I'm going to go and plug my variables in. So I get 145 divided by 2 hours. Oops. And my one note just quit. So go ahead and let me reopen this. As we wait for this to open, you're going to go ahead and plug it in, and then obviously you're going to want to make sure you have a calculator, right? So, divided by two hours, okay? When you plug that into a calculator, you're going to need a calculator for this assignment. You do 145 divided by two, and that's going to give you an answer of 72. 0.5 meters per hour. Okay, so that's my final answer. However, you're going to see that there's a digit box up here. Do we see that? A digit number one box. And that's where you're going to go ahead, and I'm going to click on here now. We've solved, and now I'm going to click on him. And you're going to see that it says, Mr. Lindsay says, to the right, you will find question number one. Please answer the following question, which we just did. Please show all of your work and include your units. The first number of your eight-digit code will be the first digit of your answer. So we go to our answer, right? We're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the first digit, okay? We go here. My first digit is going to be the seven. So in this box, I'm going to go ahead and put 7. Okay. And then you're going to see down below that obviously you have questions to complete. And then down below here is where you're going to build your code. So at the very bottom for Q1, I'm going to put a 7. And you're going to continue to do the same process for the entire assignment. Okay. Um, and so you've got this video, and I'm going to take you on this tour, and I'm going to stop at each problem. And I'll say, hey, you probably want to stop, so that way here you can pause it, so you can complete the problem, and then put your digit in the code. Okay? Uh, we're going to continue on to problem number two. All right, we're going to continue on to problem number two. So we're going to continue following the path to problem number two. All right, and when we get to problem number two, okay, congratulations, you have reached question number two. Please make sure you show all of your work and use the correct units. Please select the correct answer on the board to learn the second digit of your eight-digit code. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to read you this question, and then you can go ahead and you can pause the video so you can work on the actual question. A dog is chasing after a frisbee at a speed of 5 meters per second. If it took the dog only 7.2 seconds to reach the frisbee, how far did the dog run? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to solve for this problem. And then you're going to look for your correct answer. Your answer choices are A, B, C, or D. Depending upon the correct answer, you're going to select that digit. So if you think the answer is choice B, right? If you work it out and the answer is choice B, you're going to go ahead and select digit 9 as your secret code. So go ahead and pause it here, solve, and then plug your digit in. When you have finished, go ahead and continue the video, and I will walk you to question number 3. 
All right, awesome job. Hopefully you finished question number two. We're going to continue on to question number three. All right, we're almost to question number three. All right, here we go. We've got question number three. The question is right here. And here we go. Okay, so here is your question. You're probably going to want to at this point pause, read through the question, and identify what are you solving for. The question is, Mike Trout hits a home run that goes 423 feet. The baseball exits the park in 6.7 seconds. What is the speed of Mike Trout's home run? Okay, so go ahead and pause for question number three. When you have solved question number three, click play and I will show you the code. All right, so as we go along here, in order to get your secret code for question number three, the hint is here as follows. Use the third digit from your answer for your code. Use the third digit from your answer for your code. Please feel free to pause here to write in your third digit. So this is gonna be for question number three. Okay, each box should have a number in the bold box. So for question number three, use your third digit from your answer for your code. Go ahead and do that. Pause here and then continue on once you have finished that. All right, let's continue going on. We're gonna go ahead and locate question number four. Okay, continue moving along. All right, and here we go. We are at question number four. I'm gonna get this little animal out of the way. Let me collect my ham and bacon. All right, here we go. Back to the question. Okay, uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and probably pause, read through, okay, and identify. Just like question number two, you're gonna look for your answer on the board, and based on your answer, you're gonna select that digit. So go ahead and pause here and work on question number four. All right, okay, hopefully at this point now you should have the first four digits of your code filled out correctly, hopefully, um, and we're going to continue on to question number five. So here we go. Oh, we got another animal. Sorry. All right, question number five. Here is question number five. A cheetah is chasing after a giraffe at a speed of 70 miles per hour. It takes the cheetah three hours to finally capture the giraffe with his friends. How far did the cheetah have to run to capture his dinner? And down below the question, you're gonna see that there is how you find your code for question number five, okay? For the fifth digit of this code, add all of the digits together in your answer, for example, if your answer was 321, you would add 3 plus 2 plus 1, which gives you 6, okay? So go ahead and pause the video here, solve the problem, and then find your fifth digits. Go ahead and pause, please. All right, as we continue going on, we've got three more problems to go. Let's go ahead and find question number 6. As we continue to move along, okay, here's the problem for question number six. I'm going to go ahead and read it out to you, and then you can pause it, and then once you have solved, I will show you how I will give you your hint for your sixth digit, okay? Question number six, when Mr. Lindsay bought his boat, they told him his boat could travel 134 kilometers in 6.8 seconds. How fast is Mr. Lindsay's new boat? Okay, so go ahead and pause here and solve 
When you have finished solving, go ahead and click play and then I will show you how to get your code. All right, taking a look, let's figure out how we're going to get our sixth digit. Okay, so when you get your answer down here at the bottom, when you get your answer, you're going to use the second digit for your code. So whatever the second digit is, that's what you're going to use for your code. Okay, so go ahead and pause. I'll give you some time. Go ahead and pause. Write down your sixth secret digit, and then we'll continue on to question seven. All right, here we go to question number seven. Okay, this says question number six. I realize that, but this is in fact question number seven. Okay, um, and so here is your problem. Kermit the Frog bikes at a speed of 12 meters per second. If Kermit travels 264 meters, how long will it take Kermit? Okay, so for question number seven, go ahead and pause here and solve. Once you solve, you're going to go ahead and figure out how to get your seventh digit, and I will show you how to do that. All right, how are you going to get your seventh digit? Okay, so... For the seventh digit, your code, you will need to take the first two digits of your answer and multiply them together. So, for example, if my answer was 32, I would do 3 times 2, which gives me 6. And that's going to be your seventh digit. Take your first two digits, multiply them together. That is how you're going to get your seventh secret digit. Okay, pause here. Figure out what your seventh digit is and then click play to go to on to the last problem. Okay, we are on to the last problem. Here we go. We're going to fly to expedite things a little bit. That's to say. So I'm going to let you borrow my boat and take it to question number eight. So we're going to go ahead and get on this boat. And we're going to hop out here. All right. So here you're going to uh, solve. Okay. You're going to solve for both Mr. Ivy and Mr. DeGraff's golf ball. So this is two problems in one. Okay. So if you take a look here, it says Mr. Ivy and Mr. DeGraff love to golf. We need to see which one can hit a golf ball the furthest. Okay. So. Problem A, right, for number 8, the first part, it says Mr. Ivy's golf ball travels at a speed of 10 meters per second and it is in the air for 15.3 seconds. How far did the ball travel? So you're going to solve for Mr. Ivy's golf ball. Go ahead and do that now and then pause. Now that you have an answer for Mr. Ivy's golf ball, you're now going to solve for Mr. DeGraff's. Mr. DeGraff's ball travels at a speed of 10 meters per second and is in the air for 14.2 seconds. How far did the ball travel? So you're going to solve for Mr. DeGraff's golf ball. So go ahead and pause here and do that. All right. So now you should have two problems. You should have Mr. Ivy's golf ball and you should have Mr. DeGraff's golf ball. You need to compare your answers and figure out which one traveled the furthest. So the biggest answer, right, is going to be the one that traveled the furthest. So if Mr. Ivy's golf ball traveled the furthest, you're going to take the red path. If Mr. Uh, DeGraff's golf ball traveled the furthest, you're going to take the blue path. And so I'm going to show you both paths. So we'll take the red path first to Mr. Ivy. So if you believe Mr. Ivy's golf ball traveled the furthest, your last secret digit is going to be zero. Okay. If you believe Mr. Ivy's, or excuse me, Mr. DeGraff's golf ball traveled the furthest, we're going to follow the path to Mr. DeGraff. You're going to use the last secret digit of two. Okay. So it's either zero or two. If you believe Mr. Ivy, based on your answer, is the one that traveled the furthest, that's going to be zero. 
Mr. DeGraff's is going to be 2. Okay, and so those that concludes your eight problems for Minecraft. Okay, uh, now I wish you all could have played this in person and hopefully this video and again, I'm trying something new. Hopefully this video was not super confusing um, with the work um, and that you're able to go through this. Okay, um, if you have any questions at all, I'll be more than happy to help you out um, uh, when I do return. Okay, uh, and so please go ahead and make sure that you sh have completed and showed all of your work. If you need to go back to any of the problems, feel free to pause and go back to whatever you need to do. You're learning at your own pace. Okay, so if you need to go back, review um, a certain problem, feel free to do that. Rewind in the video. Um, if you are completely done with this assignment and you have your secret digit code, your eight digit code, Mr. Lindsay will grade that and I will double check to see if it's correct. Remember, you get 15 points extra credit if you got the correct secret digit code. OK, um, if you have any questions, again, I will be back um, on Monday and I'll be more than happy to help those of you during office hours or during class. OK, um, so hopefully this video was able wasn't too confusing. You're able to kind of see I enjoy playing Minecraft. This isn't my best work, um, but hopefully you had a little bit of fun um, in solving these speed, distance and time problems.